Hi, this is Jim, and I'm here with Maverick CNC. Um, let's talk about a few little maintenance things that probably ought to be done on every CNC machine uh, uh, on a daily basis. Uh, and especially, uh, you know, some of them have different, some machines have different effects depending on whether you have a downdraft table or a water table. This particular one is a water table. And during the cutting process, there's always a little bit of splash of water. Water does a great job controlling the fumes. Uh, but it does set, tend to splash up on the table a little bit. And consequently, with a downdraft table, uh, the also, if it's properly designed, does a great job controlling the fumes. Uh, doesn't splash up, but there will be a little bit, maybe a little bit of residual smoke and so forth. And one of the things you want to watch for on, on this Maverick CNC machine are these, the V-rails. These are, these are the guide rails that go around. It's a very good way uh, for a machine to be built that's going to operate in a dirty shop because the, there are a, a V that goes this way and there's a roller wheel that rides on the V uh, and that the dirt that lands on there generally falls off over a period of time. It doesn't build up very good, very much. So it's a good way uh, to, to design a machine and for a good long lasting machine in the shop. But you still, if you get water splash up on this part of the machine, it's a good idea to wipe it off. Uh, take a look at the uh, rack and pinion gear. This is the pinion. This is the rack gear. The pinion gear is down inside. Uh, maybe blow it off with an air hose. And it's probably not the best idea to use a lot of lubricant on it. I, I usually suggest a dry lubricant, like a graphite type lubricant, on these because the dust will stick to a wet lubricant and it's not going to stick so easily to a dry lubricant. So keep these clean. There are also some on the side of the machine over there. Another good thing, every once in a while, just check. Put your hand on the torch carriage first thing in the morning and kind of push it back and forth in the X direction and push it a little back and forth in the Y direction. What you're looking for is backlash. If you feel any slop in the motion, uh, then you've got to take a look. At, you could have something like a worn pinion gear. Uh, you could have a, something that's out of, out of adjustment, a loose set screw, something like that. Something you may want to talk to tech service about if you feel that backlash. That backlash will affect cut quality. It will affect the roundness of holes that will affect how, uh, especially if you're cutting parts with diagonal cuts in them, it'll show as a really rough cut on a diagonal. So backlash is a bad thing. This is a nice tight machine. I don't think we're going to have any problems with this one.